Welcome back to another painting video. Today we're doing Selly from Zombie Side's Green Horde. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. So first off, we're starting uh, with the White Primer by Army Painter and using contrast Citadel Contrast Colors Gulliman Flesh for her skin on her hands, on her chest, and some, I believe, that's about it, actually. And her face, of course. Then we're moving on to Basilicanum Grey from Citadel Colors, and this is for her skirt. I'd just like to take a couple seconds to mention that if you visit multizone.ca for all your hobby needs, you can use Easterling as a promo code and get 10% off your purchase. Again, multizone.ca. Then we're moving on to some fur brown. I'm using this for her uh, sheath, for her sword, or her knife, I should say, and her top, her shirt, her top, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Now we're moving on to Army Painter's Mars Red, and this is for her hair. Uh, considering she has like an orangey hue to her hair, I found that this color matched best to the uh, artwork. Then we're moving on to some Cursed Blade by the Army Painter. This is in the D&D paint sets of the Undead paint set. And I use this for her dagger, and I was hoping it was gonna be a little bit more bronzy color, but it came out like a little bit more dark silver, but it's not bad, I still liked it. And then I moved on to one of my favorite contrast colors, the Skeleton Horde. So I noticed her sword was almost like a bone sword on the artwork, and so I want to give it that bone look, and I find Skeleton Horde does a good job uh, giving that look. <laughs> and then I start using another paint from the Undead paint set called Ghoul Grey. This is also from Army Painter. And I use this for her sleeves and her leggings. It's a nice little gray, and later on with the uh, wash, it comes out a little bit like dirty gray, which is really nice. And we move on to one of the basic colors from Mary Painter, matte black. This bottle has seen some better days. And these are just for her shoes.
And then I move on to another Citadel contract, Gorgun Gorgrunta Fur. And I use this for like the little straps around her leggings and it gives it like an orangey brown look. And I find it looks nice. I just like the look of it. Then we're finishing off with some light tone. And this is going on the whole miniature except for her skin and bone dagger, or bone sword, sorry. And like I said a while ago, it gives like that gray that I put on the ghoul gray, like a little bit more of a dirty color to it. Uh, but it matches really well, I find, to the artwork. I finish off her base with some hunter green no name paint and that's it so that was Sally from the green horde thanks for watching